Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. A warm welcome on a freezing cold day. My name's Ben Mosby, middle of the week, middle show of the middle day of the week. It's launch day. We were supposed to be bringing you the brand new launch of the, well, the amazing easel draw kit. We did say, you can't say we didn't warn you. Unfortunately, the easel draw kit and, I don't know, I'm laughing, the easel draw kit and the easel draw kit showstopper sold out. That was launch day. I'll catch you a little bit later on for beautiful <laughs> beginnings. <laughs> what we're, we're do oh, we are going to do the show. I've, I can't apologise enough, but at the same token, um, we did say how much this was flying during Wake Up Call this morning. Um, so it's a disappointment. It's not a disappointment if you got it, well done. But what we did say is that we were going to continue on with launch day and try and inspire as many of you as possible who picked up this collection with some demos. That's not to say, though, that we won't be bringing you more during the show as far as other goodies are concerned, because we've still got uh, that floral uh, fragrance collection, floral fragrance, floral elegance collection, uh, and also the layout collection, two items that we can bring to you and show you more demos with over the course of launch day and indeed beautiful beginnings. What I will say about today is if there's something that you want, please, for goodness sake, grab it now because we're supposed to be bringing you other items on beautiful beginnings a little bit later on as well. And things are selling out. It's just proving a very, very popular day. Loads of deals for you to have on the January sale as well. It's a 75% off there. But listen, it's going to be a bit of a, um, uh, I don't know, a bit of a different launch day show, but we certainly intend to inspire you. Debbie, that's the plan, isn't it? We're going to at least do a couple of demos with the um, yes. diesel draw kit. What yes. a shame. I know. It, 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 well, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled and sad at the same time. Yeah. Can you have two emotions like that? Yes. I'm thrilled because you have taken this to your hearts the same way we have, and especially myself, because I tell you now, I fell in love with this. When the first showed me what I'd got, I was like, oh, my God, you're kidding. Simple effective, creative, because yeah. it's not that one trick point that I talk about. It offers you as the crafter all those versatile ways. I'm sad because I haven't got it to continue all of these demos throughout the whole of these two hours. Uh, because there are, and I'll show you that versatility, you can do little one box drawers, those yeah. lovely little easel drawers where you could do the one box if you wanted to. You can line them up side by side so you could create a nice little side by side feature as well. Um, you can then take it into my favorite, the easel drawer where you can have your drawers side by side or you can have them you can have them any way, which way you want. You yeah. saw me make the one this morning, um, but these are the kind of things that you can be creating. And of course, it's that easel that goes onto the top as well. And then, and I, and I did say, I, I did promise that we would do this one, and we will do this one. Um, you can take them taller, and you can go double, triple, quadruple, as many as you want. You could then, if you want, add them side by side. So you could have multi boxes, and you can, because all you would do is literally decide the size, because you, you make an easel card however you want to use it. That side of the template, you could just push to one side and then create another easel that sits, fits, fits on the top. Um, so I'm thrilled and sad. <laughs> Two different emotions that I didn't think I could feel, but I'm absolutely thrilled to bits, chuffed to bits, I'll say, as we do down in Yorkshire, um, chuffed to bits that you've got hold of yours. We did tell you, I yeah. kick-started this off with a Facebook Live on Sunday night. Not to whip you up into a frenzy. That's never my intention. It was just to show you how fantastic this product is. And we knew before we'd even got in the building this morning that it was flying. Mm. So I'm thrilled to bits. You've got hold of yours. Uh, I'm just sad because we have tried. Believe you me, Ben, have we not tried? I went to Johnny. You went to Johnny. Producer, producer Dean's been to Johnny. We've all been to Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, please, is there any more anywhere we can get hold of them? But unfortunately, that's not the case on this occasion. We tried. He's out there now. We tr didn't we try, Johnny? We tried to get more. He tried. He heard him. He tried. <laughs> he tried. She tried. I tried. Dean tried. Everyone tried. We, t we said earlier. <laughs> he's just come to the door. He's just gone. We tried. We tried. He's gone. We tried. Um, so listen, apologies if you have didn't get it but if you did get it uh hang fire because we've got some great inspo for you superstar susie on the socials this afternoon carletta morris joins us from arkansas 
Hi also to Pat Demarest who says, good morning, wonderful staff and fellow crafters from a cold but clear New Jersey. Cold here today. I'm not even joking you again, right? This is how cold I am. Got it li literally right on the back of my legs. It's that, it's freezing. It's, it's, I've got it on 30 degrees. It's going right up my back. Got my hands down there as well. Oh, 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 I'm doing this for you. Otherwise I'd be at home under about five blankets. You can send in all the thanks. Terry uh, Heiliger says, hi, Ben, Debbie, social Susan, all crafty friends. I got my order in. Yes, Terry. Boom, shakala. Um, we've got uh, James Dean, by the way, in the uh, gallery today, steering the good ship craft, James and Dean. Um, what noises are they making today? You got a woo, -woo. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sarah Brown says hello again to the Debonairs. Deb ben, Debonairs. Yeah. yeah, it's Mr. and Mrs. Deb Ben on airs. I love it, says Sarah. Uh, sending you all hugs. I'm back for round two at 2, 2 a.m. that is. Uh, funny how that works. Hugs from Melbourne, Australia. You're flaming galah. Jeffrey says, happy hump day to Ben and Debbie and social superstar Susie and the great and fabulous crew. That's you guys in there. Oh, great and fabulous, says James. Ooh. He's got his voice back now, so we can hear him. It, the other week, he's like that. Did he lose it? He was like that. Camera two, close up. Five, four, three. <laughs> it was really funny. But it wasn't funny for him. Linda's in in Kansas. Hi, Linda. Sam McDonald, just up the road. Hi, Ben and Debbie. Ordered my easel draw set first thing. Savvy. Uh, and it's been dispatched already. We are on fire, aren't we? Our team dispatching stuff so quickly. Uh, Kendall's in in Minnesota. Jessica's in saying good morning. Sandra Dundas. Ben, mine are already on the way too. Got the message at quarter past two. Boom. Uh, Wendy in Hampshire. Hi, everyone. Ordered Sarah's collection yesterday at 11 and it arrived this morning at 10. Good grief. Down on the south coast. That is service, isn't it? Absolutely. Well done, our team. Our team, our warehouse team, are just smashing it in the minute. Uh, Gaz says, hello to all the lovelies at CTV Towers and all my crafty friends. Lacietta Gibson, hello from Kentucky. Hi. Uh, Vanessa Fuentes from Florida. Hello. Lynn, afternoon. This is Lynn Morton. Hello again. Debbie Ben, CTV Social, Susie and all from a very cold Newcastle. It's freezing, man, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's like blooming freezing lake. Sandra Lane says, good afternoon. I'm not feeling very good today. Oh, well, that, we're, we're sorry to hear that. Uh, so a day snuggled up on the settee watching you guys. You cheer me up. Excellent news. Hopefully you have a smile on your face by the end of this show. Uh, Zoe Carver says, afternoon, Crafty Peeps. And Gaz says, I can't believe it sold out so quickly. We can't believe it. Well, we can and we can't. You know what I mean? We, we had, I mean, it wasn't like we had a stock of 10, is it? I mean, we had hundreds of these things. Uh, but you guys watched Debbie's um, live. You knew the hype around this. I think you saw the bundle, you saw the price, you saw the showstopper, you thought, got to get this. And that's what happened. And it does happen. You've seen it happen. It's happened before. It will happen again. So it's a, another lesson to learn, isn't it? Get up, if you can, get up early, get in as early as you can. If you know you want something, shop for it as quick as you can, especially on days like today, because things do disappear. Sandra also says, forgot to say, I got my showstopper earlier. I am so excited. So what was the launch day? It's going to be really become a bit more of a masterclass, actually. So a great opportunity for you to fire in any questions, anything particularly that you want to see, anything that you're not quite understanding of the collection. Get the questions in, get the comments in, um, and we will answer those for you. And also do let us know if you were one of those lucky people to get your hands on the collection, like Wendy, who says, I think I might have been one of the last to get the showstopper about 30 minutes ago. Wendy, you actually were. Um, we had, what time did we, were we chatting? About 22, there was 12 left, so you will have been one of the last ones. Well done. Right, let's get into it then, because we did promise some inspiration. What we'll do here, because obviously we can't sell this to you, we're going to pop up on the side of the screen the details for the Floral Elegance paper and card collection, because it might be that you think, well, all right, well, I'm, I want some brand new paper and card to, to work with my kit. So this is what we suggest. We'll go through this a little bit later on. That's still available, by the way, if you're looking at getting the Floral Elegance uh, showstopper, that's still available as the bonus buy, but we'll talk more about, uh, around that a little bit later on. Right. Let's get going. Yeah, I'm ready. We'll Are you we'll ready? Get a demo out of the way. Yeah. And I know it sounds bizarre because we've sold out the product, but we did promise you. I mean, obviously, we can't do two hours full back to back of that, but we will put in a couple of these demos for you. Gonna start big. Yeah. 
Go I big thought, or go home. Not? Go big or go home. That's Straight it. down that M1. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> now uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to break it down for you. So you've got your two templates that create the outer shell and that create the inner box. And I'm going to do one with my pencil and one with my Gemini. If you caught the Wake Up Call show earlier, you will see I did both boxes and in more great detail because what we did was we split that two hours up. It got a couple of demos in there, but we wanted yeah. to take you back to basics and how to use it. Uh, so for that in mind, <clears throat> what I'll do is I will do um, the box and I'm going to use some linen cardstock for this. Um, I'm going to do the box drawer, so the drawer part of it. You're going to pop that onto your template and then you, you've got two options. Where And I did say this is like for anybody like a beginner um, or advanced. And for those of you who have got it, absolutely fantastic. I just feel really bad for the ones that haven't. I know. It, it, that's what makes me sad, I think. Um, but yeah, so you can draw around the template itself. Don't worry about anything that goes astray. You know, if you haven't got it straight, it's absolutely fine. Um, you just need that rough template. I'm doing it in the pencil to show you to start with so you can see the markings of it. Yep. This is the bit that you can either keep in or take out. So you don't have to use that if you don't want to. Uh, these bits here, so you're drawing the outside of the template, these bits are what you're going to score with. So that's why I'm doing it in a pencil okay. to show you. When you lift it off, you can see that's how that draw works now i did say to you earlier you can use guillotines paper trimmers or good old scissors to create that box template now i'm just going to literally draw around it uh, sorry cut around the draw line and then again i'm going to take off nice clean long and i say long a long cut it oh, makes yes. a nice so rather difference. than going yeah rather than nice... doing is that it's a bit long-winded that you want yeah. a quick clean and I say quick clean but nice nice clean cutting yeah makes a massive difference which is why big scissors I think are the best ones for this one um, but yeah let me just come in and cut all this away you're gonna need a scoreboard if you're going to do the pencil method yeah um, you're gonna need a scoreboard I will show you the Gemini way of doing this as <laughs> well and I've just realized I've not put a couple of the score lines in there so I'll come back to that with the template in a minute um, because that one's quite a nice easy one it doesn't involve very much to be fair that sounds, sounds bizarre but it doesn't really involve very much I've just realized I've missed these two off here so I'm just gonna pop that back onto there uh, line that back up make sure it's nice and yeah, that's about right. So again, just put those, and it's just to give you that indication of where you're going to be putting your, uh, your your scoring. So scoreboards ready, template onto the top. Yep. Scoring tool, and then we're going to come in and score top to bottom. Yeah. Have a black line on your scoreboard makes it a whole lot easier to see and score down. A couple of times, gently, not too heavy-handed, uh, because what that does is pop that score line into mm. place. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way around there. If you need um, scoring capability, we do still have um, small quantities available of the Ultimate Pro. Um, comes with a free boxer board, free A, free cardstock, also th free tape pen. How many of those have we got left? Not many, are we? Less than 50. 31 of those remaining. Um, What's going on today, Debbie? <laughs> I've, honestly, like we've got nothing I, I, left. I said to you, didn't I? Because I'd done some prep for tonight as well, and I, I'd go for wake-up call, and then he said to me, "I don't think we're going to get to it because it's going to sell out." I'm like, mm. "You are kidding me!" Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, seriously, uh, I, I mean, again, I'm pleased. It's just um, I'm going to have to craft on the hoof later. Either that, or do a bit of singing and dancing. Or which... we could spend a little bit longer sat down in Essentials Corner. <laughs> I'm up for, you know what I'm up for tonight? <laughs> sit down in Essentials corner for the last hour we'll, we'll <laughs> get under, hour. we'll get under some blankets we'll get some hot cups of uh, cocoa Coco, yeah, yeah yeah and we'll just sit and snuggle and answer questions what do you think about that <laughs> that sounds amazing yeah yeah why why not yeah I mean really I'm not <laughs> Just gonna say, I'm gonna get you crafting, really, basically, Ben, is what I'm gonna do. I'm up for a bit of crafting yeah, later on. You're up for a bit of crafting, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, me and you, we're tag team, yeah? Tag team, let's yes. tag team, yeah, absolutely. I thought I'd scored everything there. So, simply, once you've done that, all you're doing is reinforcing those score lines. Um, this, again, like I said, you can um, use a, and if you've caught the show earlier, mm. uh, you could use a circular 
punch yeah. or a circular die. Um, or you could just get your scissors around it. And I'm going to come in with my scissors. I'm trying to turn my cardstock, which I know can be quite tricky. I'm trying to keep my scissors absolutely still and just turn the cardstock around to take away um, that um, half circular. Um, and that's literally just to pull your drawer out with mm. as well. So that's the first shape that you do with the pencil and your erasers and your scoreboards. For this one, I'm going to show you how you can take it into um, your Gemini machine. So I'm going to pop my um, template on top of, and I've used a linen cardstock again with this one. Um, any construction weight cardstock I always recommend. Um, I've done linen just to show you that linen can, um, you can, you can, the Tebby. Get your words you can out. Can you use linen? You can use linen cardstock, yeah. yeah. Now, I've popped my tape on to hold it into place because what I'm going to do is going to bring me big plates in. Um, let's put that one down there. Now, when it's on the template, I turn it so the template faces down into the plates. This is when you're going to need your rubber embossing mat that's going to go over the top of that. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to put on your plastic sheet and then your other cutting plate and that is just literally the template will push into the cardstock which will push into the have they turned me off oh you're not hang on am I'm, i not I'm, plugged in i'm coming over what on earth they're, are they they're in really here early ron they were in here early. messing they're around really filming what's happened they're not they're not put it back what together they? they've unplugged they've it, not, unplugged it. <sighs> who's done that it's lucky there's a technical guy like me here to come and sort this problem out thank you very much yeah, you'll get down oh, dear, there. Oh dear, oh dear, yeah. <laughs> I can't get back up, Debbie. Oh, me, me hamstrings. Well, if I had got oh. down there, you wouldn't have seen me for dust. <laughs> I'd have been crawling to that settee and then you'd have had to take over everything. Thank you so much, you're very kind. Welcome. Uh, I can't believe they turned it off, the cheeky devils. Thank you. He saw me draw was not up. He dropped that draw for me as well. He's a good egg. Hey, he's a good egg. He's a good egg, that boy. <laughs> man of many talents. I never even realised they turned it off. Oh, I know. I know. I mean, you just can't get the staff these days. Who was days. in here filming earlier on? Mucking so about we had Leanne in. Uh, Leanne? Then we had you. Then we, then, then we had me. Then you. <laughs> More We've films all been in filming. here than exactly. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <sighs> Now, what is going to happen, and I know in the camera, especially on white cardstock, mm. uh, but I'll try and angle it. You can see the score lines are into place, um, and so everything is in there. So the only thing you're going to do again, and I'll probably turn it that way to make it a bit easier, is you're going to follow those embossed lines all the way around. Yeah. And it's exactly the same, but if you've noticed now, what I'm not doing is, um, and I'm just... <laughs> Get your cardstock straight, Debbie. Um, what we're going to do is, there's no rubbing out, there's no erase. You're not used to using a razor at this stage. You're just simply following that score line. Let's turn it around that way and make it a bit easier for me. Um, you're going to just follow that around. If you and do want scissors, by the way, we yeah. do have the six inch snips in the Essentials Mega Bundle, which is on your screen. Be quite handy for this, actually. Got yes, a knife absolutely. In there. Absolutely. So that takes away that, and then I'm just going to snip that off. I think I've got both. Yeah, I think, oh, I know what I've missed. I've missed my little angled pieces there. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Now, the beauty of doing it through your machine is there's no rubbing out, there's yeah. no scoring, mm -hmm. because they've all been put in for you. The only thing you're going to remember to do is you're going to remember to reinforce each one of those score lines. So you're going to take your scoring tool yep. and you're just going to reinforce the scoring into there. Simple, easy, and I mean very, very easy to do. And I prefer it this way, to draw around, to erase, to get the scoreboard. Um, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it. If you haven't got a machine, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, for me, I just prefer this way because it makes it nice, clean and simple to do. But either way, pencil or not, you've got your two to put together. Now, I've already decorated one of mine, and I think I explained this morning with this. Um, all I did was um, take the, so you literally measure that little piece there. So if I remember rightly, and I've got to try and remember, Ben, because I've completely forgot this morning, and I were making a right um, pig's ear of it. It's one and three quarters by two and a half. Yeah. And all I did for, and that's the inner box. So all I did was take a quarter of an inch off either one and then again just draw around. Um, I've gone fully on this one. So do you know this morning you saw me do a 
Um, let me just show you. In fact, let me just bring this one, which I should have been from Facebook Live. Um, if you want to make life simple, I did it because I wanted the white frame, because I quite like the white frame, so I showed you how to do that. For this one, the only thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it over yeah. and use the um, marking fully on both pieces. Uh, okay. So if you can see now, there's no white mark. So you've got options, again, that's what I love about this kit. There's so many different options you are going to be able to use for it. Because you're not a one-trick pony kind I of girl. I am not a one-trick pony girl. No. I like all the different ponies you can give me, all the different tricks you can give me yeah. from one from one pony. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to stick those together. Yeah. It's pretty much like putting a box together. It's very, very simple. You tuck each flap, you line it up against a straight edge, you stick that down um, and again it, 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 it couldn't be any easier to be honest if you find that you've missed the little areas which I've just realized I have there I'm just going to take that down a little bit to make it a bit easier to uh, get that fold so I'm not overlapping any of the folds yeah so again really nice and simple and you're just going to line that up on all four sides and stick that down so that's the inner box and then the outer box it's exactly the same you're going to put your tape on all of the flaps Move that on a bit, there we go. And literally four flaps on this one, nice and easy. Take the straight edge, fold it up like a box. Make sure it's nice and flush before you actually stick that down. Mm -hmm. Exactly with the other side. And then this top flap comes over the top. So all you're gonna do is push that right in, take it to that straight edge and the same with the other side as well. And then just make sure that's stuck down. And then what you've got is literally... There we go. Your box made. Yes. And that's your one little box that you could do to create one. I have created... Ooh, look at this. We need, <laughs> for this particular style of box, we're going to have eight. Eight? Because I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing like um, a double... Let's just show you. We're going to go on top of each other. Oh, I'm going to put all of these together. Let's get all those boxes in. I love the fact that you say you could just make these as many as you want. As little as you want, as, as many as you, as you want. want. I mean, you could go as high as you want. You could build a high six foot want. tower if you want, couldn't you? Exactly. Um, and that's the beauty of this kit, which, again, I know it sounds really bizarre because we don't have any left. But no, no. Um, maybe we should just keep making the boxes and see how many we can make and see how, how we can stack them at the end of the show. <laughs> okay? I'm up for that. Anyone else up for that? <laughs> Well, th this is the whole thing about this. If you just wanted to do one, yeah. which is what I was going to do to show you how to make the one. Well, you've just seen me make the one. The only difference there is, is I've made a little cute easel. Uh, cute, cute, yeah, cute easel is yeah. the right word. Um, I forgot to put my flopper stopper on it, though. Um, however, I've got away with that, actually. I'm, I'm OK. Um, however, all I've done is added a bigger frame. So this actual box base itself measures in at two and a half by two and a half. Um, so when you've got that like that, you can just make a bigger frame. So you could either go uh, three inches by three and then stick it on the top. So if you see what I've done with that, I've actually uh, done a bigger base. Can we see that? Thank you, James. So it's got like a little lip all the yeah. way around and that's on the bottom and the top. Again, not just a one trick pony. It does more than one thing. Mm. That's the one singular box. The next one that I was going to show you yeah. was a three. So I literally put the three together. Uh -huh. And again, all you're going to do, and I've done it again the same with this one, I've given it an extra piece. So all you're going to do is measure those three boxes together. Those three boxes measure in at just under eight and a half. Uh, and they are, of course, the depth is about two. Um, so in terms of what you're going to stick them onto in a platform, um, I've made it a little bit bigger, the base. So again, I've got this little lip. Um, which I think looks really quite cute. And then, again, I've done exactly the same with the top. And you can make your own easel cards to fit that. Yeah. So you would just make, take the measurement of the dimension both sides. And if we get time later, I'll show you how you do that. Um, and then put your easel onto the top. So you do have in your kit, you've got the... Uh, this one, let me show you this template, that creates the base for your boxes to sit on, so like I showed you this morning. We're pretty much going to do the same with this, but we're going to, we're going to like pile them on top of each other. Yeah. Now, this is the other thing. You don't have to have them. You can have all four boxes sitting in front, like that. Or you could have a little play, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. So let's. I've got all my. I've got all my eight boxes. Yeah. I've got my bases because I wrote base on my card just mm. to remind me. Um, and we're going to stick these down now into. And when you stick them onto the base, 
you're going to pop them on like this. So this is the first part of the base. So again, let's um, let's see if I've got. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use a wet glue. Okay. Why My, Go on, just sorry. sorry, whilst you're sticking, I'll just say a few hellos because we're very busy on the comments. And just apologise to a couple of people I know just tuned in and didn't realise. Tara said, Ah, oh, I missed it. You did. Um, we're, apologies. We did say this morning, but if you weren't watching, that's no consolation, I suppose, is it? Uh, Lois is in from Ohio. Janice Watson is in from a freezing Stoke on Trent. Oh, is it um, chilly? Chilly. Chilly, chilly. And they said something else then, actually, I shouldn't have said. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went, Chilly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, please be mindful yes. of what's going to come out next. Um, Leave the four pars to me. I'm yes. good at them. Um... Crack the Andy says, Ben, you were right, it sold out. I was watching Wake Up Call and ordered the Easel Draw collection. Well, well done. Don't sound so surprised. Sometimes I am right. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes I am. Um, Deborah says, greetings from Texas. I've just woke up to see it sold out. Oh, no. I know, I'm so sorry. We did say, didn't we? And I know, it, it's just, you can never gauge, no, can really you, no. with, it, a, with a launch? Are we reckoning this is going to be restocked, asks Linda? Well, we're hoping so. I know that probably the guys are, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we are. Mm. Um, but we're not sure just yet, and I'm not sure how long it would take. So uh, those are questions that I'm pretty sure, especially the next time Leanne's on, We'll be able to find out for you and let you know in the future, but right now we're not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, I know it sounds sad. And I know. I, I really. Do, that's what makes me sad, is as, that we're not sure. As at the soon moment. as we find out, though, we'll let you know. Of course we will. Uh, Kathy's joined us. Kathy uh, Brewering from a frigid Dublin, Ohio. It's minus 13 degrees. Oh my. Without the wind chill. Goodness. So oh that my is goodness. Chilly. That is. Chilly Billy. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Chilly Billy. Chilly, chilly, chi chilly what? Chilly Billy. Chilly, chilly Billy. Right, that's okay. I'll, I'll let you off with that one. Shadaya <laughs> says, Good morning, Lord Ben. Fab Debbie, social leader. Crafters TV crew. Hello. Yes, your social leader this um, afternoon is Superstar Susie. Jill's joined us from North Yorkshire. And hi also to Diana, who asked at some point, Debbie, could you go over the plate configuration again for the die, she says. The dyes? Mm. Oh, the edibles. Mm. Do you mean the edibles? Mm. Yeah, I'll show you those, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what I'm just showing you first, though, is popping the first layer down of your boxes. Now, I did it slightly different on my, um, my make that I've done, but I just wanted to show you this is a nice, cute way, which is what I did this morning. Now, obviously, the boxes at the minute, you need to make sure that they are firmly on that base, and I've used a wet glue, so you do need a little bit of drying time just for that. I'm just going to show you... You've got your boxes. Now, you can have your boxes side by side if you want to. Mm -hmm. Or you can do this alternating one, which I absolutely love doing that one. And I did say, because I, I thought I'll change it up a little bit. Um, all you're going to need is another base that sits on the top. Or you could just literally go straight in with your boxes. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just, just pop that there so I can show you, because it's very difficult to, to get the angle right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place those on top of each other yeah. like that. Now, if you want to put that extra rigidity in there, I would just say cut that down slightly smaller to your five and a half by five and a half. However, I'm going straight on with the boxes and I'm going to mix it up a little bit okay. to the one that I made. So I'm going to come on to the top. So it's exactly the same. So I'm going to come in, glue all my sides. I'll do the panels in a bit, but because I'm trying to do this very quickly to show you how to put it together, mm. um, I'm going to speed the process up. Um, let me just make sure I've got my side panel on. Uh, the papers that I've used for this are the papers that came with the showstopper, which is the fuchsia. Yes. Fuchsia cardstock, yeah. So, yeah. I've, um... Yeah, I keep, I keep looking to my left and thinking, brilliant showstopper, that. A few more are sold. <laughs> and then it's like, no, idiot. It's already gone. What are you thinking gone, about that for? It's gone, it's yeah. gone. Yeah. Man. I know, I know, I know. They normally oh. happen on a random Wednesday in the middle of January. Wake up call sellouts normally happen during birthday and Christmas and stuff like that. So it's just feel, it doesn't just, yeah. it doesn't feel quite right, does it? But no, I know, I know. Now yeah. at this stage, because I'm rushing, take your time. Mm. Um, I don't want you rushing this, but I'm just doing it for obviously quick demonstration purpose to show you how to construct it together. Uh, but please don't rush your stage. And can I just tell you, uh, red liner tape. Uh -huh. uh, red line tape would be the way forward for me uh, every single time. I'm just going to lift it up again so you can see now I'm putting them at like, opposite ends of each other. Um, red line tape will stick it instantly as well and not get glue everywhere like I'm just getting right now. So I'm getting a little bit of a sticky mess. <laughs> um, but this is the thing, you know, um, I mean, 
I don't want to harp on about it because we haven't got it but for those people that have it's just nice to show you some different ways that you can use it and then the last box that I'm going to put on so if I just grab my where are you there you are uh, put my last box onto there like I said red liner tape will you be your best friend in this one uh, your tape pen as well um, but if you are um, I would use a little, definitely a little bit of wet glue just to give you a little bit of time to get it into place just making sure I've got all sides covered there there we go so again let me just put that on there because I keep getting my fingers stuck in glue. Let's just pop that down. There we go. All you're going to do is push that together so that it becomes a solid block. So that when you've got this, and again, like I said, I'm using a wet glue, so it takes a little bit of time to dry. Plus, I'm starting to move things, but you, you get the gist. Um, and push that down until it's all nice and stuck. Be a bit difficult when it comes to a paper clip like we would normally tell you to do. That's it, band will work stick a little oh, stick yeah. band around it um, until it holds into shape. Um, I didn't have a problem with mine because I used red liner tape. However, you need to put a top on the top. Mm. So you've got to you've got to get yourself another top. Um, so you're going to use that template again. Now I've used it to create the easel part of the card and I have got, I'll, I'll show you in a second with this. Um, I've used it and I'm going to have a stronger base because this is linen cardstock so it's not the same strength as our multi-purpose cardstock. Yes. So I've already made my easel with three sheets and what I've just done with that is uh, stuck them on uh, like I did this morning. In fact, actually, I did that with two sheets, not three, because I just, I just went to the... Yeah, I took the 11 by five and a half, that was it. Um, and then just scored it at the halfway mark to create the easel yeah. and then popped that onto the top. So that sits okay. firmly onto the top of my box. Yeah. So let's get a bit of wet glue. Apologies for rushing this stage, but it's just, again, it's just to get this in to show you how to put that together. Mats and layers, put mm -hmm. your mats and layers onto there as well. So let's put our mat and layer in, into place. I'm going to have a pink layer actually on that bottom. Um, pop that on. So mat and layer, get your flower right way around, Debbie. Oh, yeah. There you go. There we are. That looks better. Um, and then on this bottom part, um, because I've done it like I've, I've put my panel on the front already, I can stick that down as a solid. Um, this morning when I showed you, I did it halfway. I did the halfway point. So mm. lots of different ways you can make your easel. Lots of different ways. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, you've got the templates there, or you can make your easels... Um, the way that you would normally make an easel card, yeah. and especially with the Ultimate Pro, especially you could you could be creating. But that then becomes the Let's easel part the on the top of the drawers, yeah. and then all you're going to do is add a little bit of decoration, like so. And a flopper stopper. Oh, I'm going to have a flopper stopper. I'm going to have yeah. a little different flopper stopper. Oh yeah. So I'm going to pop on nice little just for you. They've got lots of scent. Well, I say lots of scent. <laughs> well, yeah. But I was, yeah, just, I was right. just thinking as well, your layout collection, if you uh, pick well, that up yes, I, um, yesterday. Yeah, I'm just like, what the heck? Mm. What the heck? Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of decoration on. Now, I'm just speeding this process up. You will, of course, take your time. Um, but I just thought I'd add a couple of little bits of decoration into there. Ah. Yeah. Where does that come from? Is that, what uh, is that? Well, actually, it's me with steering, but I've got oh, much left, so you're only getting a bit. <clears throat> I've got much left, so... Uh, but, there you go. However, we need a flopper stopper. Now, there is one in here to be able to draw around the template, so you yeah. could draw around that if you wanted. I actually wanted a longer one this time because I've got quite a double-based um, card, so I've just made my own. You've got that if you need it, but you can make your own. The only thing I'm going to do with that is add, when I can find foam pads, because someone's been on my desk while I've been having dinner and filming and things have been moved. We've, we've been non-stop today, haven't we? I know, we have, we have yeah. not stopped. I don't know about you, but my feet are burning. Ha! But burning. What, hot? I only had, uh, burning hot because I only had a chance to sit down for, like, oh. literally 20, 20 minutes. Don't not even that. 10, 10, 15 minutes to shove my tater down my neck. What? For dinner. Oh, I've you been should on be taking down. Yeah. I didn't uh, even have time to have a proper dinner today. Did you? I was just going to say, you, I've not seen you have a proper dinner today. I, I brought some blueberry wheat for breakfast, which I didn't have time to have at breakfast, so I just had those. Uh, for Bless you. lunch. I'm going to have to raid the um, vending machine in between shows. I have a packet of McCoys and I'll, I'll be reet. Well, you be, you'll be reet. You'll be reet. I'll, I'll be reet. You'll be reet. I've just realised I want to add something else to this. Let me just push that back a bit further. Getting ready for our little um, crafty session together later oh, on, yes. you and I. I'm well up for that. I'll be crafting later. Old, I'll be crafting. old school. I'll get over there with you. You tell me what you need me to do. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Right. I'm just going to push that to one side because do we have any dyes left? Uh... Yes. Do um, we sell these separately? No. What? 
Uh, uh, the collection? Oh, wow. It's okay. all gone, isn't it? Let me talk you through this one. This, <clears throat> this is an edible <laughs> die set. This edible die set is absolutely fabulous because you've got two parts to it. This hasn't got an outside cutting edge, so it cuts directly into cardstock. So if you wanted to use it on a square, you absolutely mm. can. But this gives you that ability to create this kind of shape. Now, this is just for me to use as a decorative piece onto my easel drawer. However, this is an edible die, so it's going to go on the top of your cards, on the side of your cards, on the bottom of your bases, of your lids, of your boxes, and so much more. Very, very simple. Our edgeable technology is exactly the same. One end has a nick at the top, so you can line it up directly into place. I am, of course, though, just using it for a decorative, decorative, decorative. Thank you. Piece. Yes. So I'm not using it for anything other than adding to the bottom of my box. A nice little decorative piece that's going to just sit under there and then simply going to add a little bow onto Oh, hang that. on. The dies are still available, I've just been told. Oh, right. OK. OK. Hang on. Right. Now, this needs a bit of time to dry, but I've done this box where I've got mine alternating. So I've got a, a solid, then I've got a drawer that pulls out. I've then got underneath, let me push that back in, I've got a solid this side and then a draw underneath mm. and i've done that all the way around on all four sides okay? yeah however the one that's dry the one that i'm going to show you is oh, different yes. because this is the thing about this set so i've got two drawers that line up um this side so these are two workable drawers that come out okay and then on this side i thought oh i'll mix it up a little bit um two drawers on that side nice turn it around Two draws on that side. Nice. Turn it around. Two draws on that yes. side. There's nothing to stop you from doing two draws at the top, nothing at the bottom, on that side. Then two draws at the bottom, nothing on the top. Um, and then alternate it all the way around. So there's lots of ways that you can absolutely do this. And this one that I've done, I actually added a little extra lid. So if I just show you, can you see the little lid? Mm. It's got like a lip to it. So yeah. you have got this, and I'm just going to lift it up there so you can see, you just make it slightly bigger um, and that looks absolutely incredible. So there's two ways, like I said, there's lots of different ways. That's just two varieties of the same die set, um, uh, sorry, template set, uh, just in a different way and a different configuration. So I'm going to let that dry because that needs a bit of dry. I'm going to rest something heavy on it to stick that together. Um, but this is the kind of thing that you could do with there. I do apologise. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. Uh, it's just the way things go. Um, the early birds, in this case, yeah. has definitely caught the worm. Caught the worm, the crafty yeah. worm. Um, just to say, yeah, I could have sworn that it's on the website earlier on. There, there are still, if you want those um, lace edgeable dies, but you, again, you're going to have to be quick with those. There's about 30 left. That's all. It's, it's just been one of those days. But yeah, all the other um, items, like the showstopper, the easel draw kit collection, and the easel draw stencil itself has gone so um apologies but well done if you did get it uh, those edibles are still available for you uh that die looks like the fancy top on an antique evening bag i own says Anne. and carletta says that is lovely uh, and jessica says i like that you are still doing demos with this we did promise that so that's the reason why obviously we're going to have a look at some other bits and pieces as well during this show and beautiful beginnings later on um but the great thing is is that we've shown you in this show what you can do there's plenty of uh, inspiration that you can go back and watch well, from uh, earlier. Guess what? What? Craft, Craft along. along. Oh yeah. Craft along is going to be coming. That's... We need to find out. Did you find out? Isn't that coming up next weekend? No, that uh, no. No, that's the floral elegance. Isn't no, it? that's the floral elegance because Jan's got it. Can we find out, Dean? Can you make a quick email to Su our lovely Johnny? Su Susie will tell us. Susie? Of course, does Susie, Susie know? She books it all, doesn't Susie she? Susie T, do you know who's on this craft along? Susie will tell us. You wait any minute now. It'll, it'll come through. Um, <laughs> we'll, tr we'll try and make your wish our come command. True. Please pray. <laughs> Let, whilst we're waiting for that information to come through, oh, I, hope, I hope it's you. I don't want to see a disappointed face over there. I'll be gutted. I'm not going to lie. Ah, oh, Craig's got it. What? Craig and Corin. Craig and Corin? On the 28th of January. <laughs> so that is next weekend. <gasps> Two craft alongs next weekend with so the floral elegance, elegance and then this. I knew oh. it was next weekend. I should never doubt myself. Oh, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Who's actually doing the craft along? Corinne. And Craig is <laughs> presenting. Look what you've done now. You've upset her now. I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs>
<laughs> right, whilst Debbie has a minute, let me take you through the floral elegance paper and <laughs> paper and card collection. Look what you've done now, Dean. Unbelievable. Uh, so the floral elegance collection that we launched yesterday, thankfully there is still stock of this. There's stock of something left in the building, which is good. I ha uh, oh, yes, I have got it all. Thank goodness. Right. Th this is a huge bundle. Um, showed you this yesterday, but boy, oh boy, the biggest, I think, uh, paper collection that we have ever done. Look at the beautiful papers with that stunning pearl effect. The colour palette is just absolutely gorgeous. The A track and the B track of these is just simply to, I mean, it's to die for, isn't it? I, I love the blue in here, but I, I love these papers the most because you can see that gold, those um, pearl flecks coming through. Um, what you've got as well is on the reverse of a lot of the papers, something a little bit more stripped back. So if you want it all very much sort of in your face and uh, you know something which is really going to stand out to the crowd, you've got it. But if you want something a little bit more stripped back that you can build on, you've also got that in this pad. It is absolutely beautiful. 24 sheets in here on that beautiful uh, pearl effect paper. And what you're also going to find here is that we've done this for you in your six by six as well. So you've got the best of all worlds when it comes to the sizes and the design. So that is it. You get 24 sheets this time around. And if you're thinking, oh, we've been shortchanged, you have not been shortchanged here, because I'll tell you for why. It's 12 by 12, you get it again in the six by six. On top of that, we're also going to give you a stunning vellum pad, 24 sheets in here once again, all of the corresponding vellums to match your papers, but look this time around, right? As well as there being stunning designs, there is beautiful foiled accents on this vellum as well. I can't recall us ever doing that before. Um, within a collection and it is absolutely magnificent and the brilliant thing about this too is that you've got the foiling already on there but we also give you within this kit which i'll show you in just a second uh, foil transfers so if you want to as sarah was showing you yesterday you've got the ability then to foil onto this too so if you wanted for example to use this as a beautiful insert for a project you could then foil your sentiment onto those as well some of them are foiled some of them are just your um standard vellums but i think we can all agree it is absolutely beautiful sublime is the word dean it really really is then you're going to get all of your foil transfers so these are they you get seven sheets of rose gold foil all right if you've got other foils again there's nothing to stop you using those in conjunction with the um adhesive um transfers that you've got in here but look at all of those beautiful designs that you're going to get once again you've got little um edgeables you've got borders you've got swirls you've got embellishments little frames you know beautiful centerpieces here as well and some stunning sentiments to go with um also you've got then um, more boards of sentiments here so things like thank you happy birthday sent with love congratulations again more beautiful decorative elements little corners and swirls and then here's the brilliant thing we're going to give you sets of your letters in block capital then you've also got your letters in your lowercase and on top of that you're going to get your numbers and your ordinals included as well so perfect if you love to personalize you know, a lot of the designs here as well, just looking at these, thinking to myself, these would be great for, you know, if you've got a wedding coming up, making wedding stationery, making table settings. I mean, just perfect for that. That's not all though, for £60 or $79.20, because on top of all of that, you are also going to receive our pearl paper pad. 24 sheets here. This one is 250 GSM, 24 double-sided sheets of beautiful pearl cardstock. And once again, all of the Chorus, all of the corresponding colours um, are absolutely beautiful. So they match up. I love, I've got a lot of time for that caramel. I think that looks absolutely beautiful, that caramel brown. And you've got your different shades of um, blue in here as well, like a royal blue, like a, like a darker blue in there too. But that is all included. 24 sheets of that. And then on top of all of that, this is all included. Oh, you're going to get this pad. It's got the satin mirror card in it. OMG. This is amazing. The colours in here are just beautiful. You've got the corresponding mirror card in here as well, which you'll see in just a few moments' time. But it is a beautiful, beautiful uh, pad of your matte mirror or satin mirror, if you call it that. And then the most reflective, I think, mirror card stock that you're ever likely to see. Um, all of that is included in this bundle 
for just £60 or $79.20. The rule still stands as well, by the way, if you want to get this half price, you pop this item into your basket with your showstopper and then all of this comes to you for half price. And by the way, you get all of this again within the showstopper. It's crazy, 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 crazy value. Uh, but £144, we can show you all around that a little bit later potentially, but um, £144, $200 gives you all of the dies, all of the stamps, um, you've got your stencils in there, all of the other goodies that came with that, all of your embellishments as well, the glitters, the glitter paste, the dried flowers, the wax seal kit, it's all there. That's the showstopper with a set of what I've just shown you here. And then you pop what we were just showing you, that bundle into your basket, the paper and card bundle, and that then becomes half price for you in the same basket as your showstopper. So that's £60, £79.20 becomes £30 or... <laughs> 39, six, the 38, 60? Is that good? It is a bit more. Come on, Dean, you've got a calculator. <laughs> We're all waiting on you, Dean. Come on. 39, 60? I said 38.60. Yeah, but we'll say I was right. 39.60, as I just said. Um, so, yeah. Great opportunity to halve that price. Thank you everyone for all the lovely comments coming through. Uh, I think we're all good and all up to date. So we're gonna take a short little break. Uh, when we come back, more inspo, more ideas, more of your questions. If you wanna fire them in, feel free. Uh, we'll be back in about four or five minutes time. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. My name's Jan Brown and I am one of the craft experts here at Crafters Companion so you often see my face on the camera and see me demoing all the different products that we have in our range. I live in Yorkshire, um, I'm actually based in Sheffield which is one of the cities in Yorkshire and I'm born and bred absolutely and it's lovely and green, countryside, little picturesque village and I wouldn't change it for the world. My crafting journey was quite an interesting one because I was working in school and someone just sent me, it was birthday, sent me a card and it was a, hand, a handcrafted card which I'd never come across before. So I was literally blown away by it, asked her a little bit about it, went and bought a craft kit and the rest of it's just history. Inspiration I think comes from lots and lots of different places so it could be sort of um, architecture, it could be sort of the style of something, particularly colours, things like that. I love sort of like autumn colours, that kind of thing. Um, I think one of the biggest ones there is our design team. We have a massive design team, second to none in the industry and I often have a look through their folders and get ideas and work with those uh, when I'm planning in my demos yeah I think behind the scenes we do have a giggle I'm not sure there are actually any blooper reels there may be I'm not sure uh, but I think one of the things that we always have a joke about and I learned very early on uh, was remembering to turn the microphone off when you uh, when you leave the camera I'm gonna leave it to your imagination with that one although crafting does take up a lot of my time I think the biggie's got to be my family we have a very small family but a very close-knit one uh, my girls both live close by and my eldest daughter uh, has got her little boy he's my only grandson so we spend a lot of time with him and it's something that we love getting whether we're going out for a, a meal somewhere or whether we're at home playing board games that kind of thing just everybody together I'm not a loner I don't like spending time on my own so the more people around the better 
I was accepted onto the demonstration team as well. So those were very big moments in my sort of crafting lifetime and very much a, a dream come true, you know, when it's a hobby turned into a, a job as such. And then obviously along with that at the store came the chance to meet Sarah. Uh, she came to, well, she opened the store, naturally came to visit. So getting to meet her and have a chat with her and then taking it on from there, my name was put forward for this particular role. And now I actually work alongside Sarah so she's actually part of the team we all work together and definitely a dream come true I don't tend to refer to it when anybody asks me what I do I don't refer to it as work anymore because it literally is just playing with the crafting products Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Welcome back everybody. If you have just joined us, uh, the sad news is the launch that you're probably tuning in expecting to see sold out. Uh, it's sold out in Wake Up Call. Um, so apologies for that. We are still bringing you, of course, the rest of the show and indeed we'll be back for Beautiful Beginnings a little bit later on with slightly different things we were going to show you. Uh, but yeah, that launch has gone, so apologies. Uh, hi to Colette, who's joined us and joined us as well. And Wanda, who says, good morning from Lewiston, Idaho. Uh, finally warming up, it's 21 degrees. It ain't warming up here. Um, honestly, I've never been so cold. Stop going on about it, Ben, for goodness sake. Nobody cares, but yeah, I, am, I am cold. I've still got my radiator here. Um, my order from Monday, says Wanda, is out for delivery today. I repeat, my order from Monday is out for delivery. Uh, I love De Ben on air, says uh, Wanda. <laughs> That's going to catch on, isn't it? Hashtag De Ben on air. Um, <laughs> we are going to have a quick look at um, the Floral Elegance collection. So the showstopper, I'm just going to get me boards in order because I've, someone's mixed up me boards from this with the boards from the layout collection. Um, so Debbie's going to show you some finished samples I and I'll do. give you a little wave Absolutely. when I've sorted them out. <laughs> Absolutely. Come have a little peek at some of the most amazing samples from the design team. Um, from literally every single one of these are just simply stunning. Elegance personified is what they say is that beautiful floral taking centre stage. And what more could you ask for? I mean, look at this. This is a work of art. Um, you can tell Bianca worked in floristry because she knows the composition of your flowers. It is absolutely stunning. I love that one. Um, and that lovely 3D feel that you get with those uh, beautiful flowers that are in that collection. Um, talking of flowers, though, there are dyes in this collection that enable you to create the most beautiful roll-up flowers. This was one that Corinne did um, during uh, the first look show. And she used some of the gorgeous glitter pastes as well as that beautiful beautiful paper pad as well. Um, I'll show you a couple more because I've, I've just seen a thumbs up. 
Um, I love, 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 love these. And I am going to be demonstrating um, a card pretty similar to this. Uh, I absolutely love that edge ball on there as well. Um, lovely shaker element with a little bit of that glitter paste in the background. Looks absolutely exquisite. Make your own deco pieces. We were saying earlier that we thought that was a home deco piece. Oh, it's yeah. actually a card that Sandy's done and it looks incredible. Another lovely one with the foil transfers in there as well. Another one that Corinne did during the first look show. Absolutely stunning. And then that gorgeous wreath as well. There is so much to this collection that I know you're going to fall in love with. I know you never... Honestly, the colour palette is just stunning. Everything about it is. And our Ben's going to take you through each and every single element that you're going to get in this collection. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh! No, I'm oh, joking. Oh, so thumbs up. It was. <laughs> what a joker. What a joker. Yeah, so um, everything that I showed you previously, just before that short break there, as far as I make myself laugh, as far as the papers and the cardstock is concerned, all of that is included within the showstopper. What is also in there is another um, paper pad. This one is your decoupage, floral decoupage paper pad. There are 36 sheets in here, all of these beautiful uh, florals. You've got the um, numbers all on there for you. So you can see, basically, you've got two decoupages per page there. So you can layer all those up, create two different um, little bouquets. If you just want to pop those straight out and just use those as individual embellishments for a project, then absolutely you can. There's 36 sheets in there, so you've got tons and tons to be playing with. That comes within the actual showstopper. Then on top of all of that, you get these goodies. So beautiful stamp in here. I think that was potentially one of the only things that we didn't see being used yesterday on the launch shows, but you've got that beautiful blossoming corner. This is that stunning, elegant floral heart. Again, go back yesterday to see the shows. Um, Sarah did some beautiful demos with this particularly. Love the one where she was using the glue that you get within your gilding flake set and then pop the gilding flakes over the top of that to create a really, really beautiful heart. You've then got your spring bouquet in there as well. So that's a beautiful, nice large stamp of that floral bouquet. Then you've got your die to be able to cut that one out. There's loads of sentiments in here too. So you've got this one here, which is your classic sentiments. Really love that because you've got the nice kind of mix and match of the stamps and then you've got that swash sentiment there too so hello happy and thanks and then you've got all of the stamp sentiments to build up the actual sentiment that you want to say so wishing you a happy birthday thanks for everything you do loads and loads of opportunities there for you now you've then got your perfect peony so that one is a beautiful stencil which is going to work beautifully in conjunction with your floral delight that one again is another one of those fantastic illustrative embossing folders so if you bought those previously you are going to love working with that you've got that beautiful raised detailing the florals so again if you love to color uh, it's a great way to be able to use that embossing folder. Here's that stunning edgeable. This one is called Your Luxurious Lace. Saw that being used quite a few times yesterday, whether you use that on your box lid. I always think as well, things like that are beautiful for little edgeables for things like your memory albums. Very, very versatile. Also talking to versatile, this set we love. That is your beautiful blooms. So these cut out the little flowers that you can roll so you can use your tweezers with those to create little rolled flowers like Debbie was showing you on a card just a few moments ago or if you've got a quilling tool so much the better this is included your little sentiment floral that one I mean it cuts out the most beautiful exquisite floral spray there which you can again paper piece you can color you can layer it onto a background that you might have created loads of opportunities and then you're also going to get your floral wreath so that is the um, stencil set that you can use to build up all of the different layers to create that wreath. Also included in here, and I'll just go a little bit quicker, you're going to get all of your beautiful embellishments. So you've got your wax seal kit, three different colours of wax. Alongside that, you get the two different seals to go with. So you've got your love and also for you. You are going to get your gilding flakes. So the gilding flakes kit, actually. So you get your pot of gilding flakes in this beautiful colour. You get the glue, you get the stamp, and also you get your little sponge. Also alongside all of that, you are going to get your glitter paste in these two beautiful colours. You get a 30... Hmm, what's the size of it? You get a large tub of uh, glitter to go with the, this as well, which I haven't got here. Uh, and then on top of all of that, you're also going to get those two beautiful shimmer ink pads as well. They're the little mini shimmer ink pads. One thing I don't have here, which you're also going to get, which Debbie has touched on, is you get that beautiful um, 
pot of dried flowers as well. So that's all included. Add that to everything that I showed you earlier on with the paper and the card and the foil transfers. That's the showstopper. £144 is your platinum price, $200 if you're in the US and you're platinum. That's your free shipping wherever you are, of course. And then what you do, you pop your showstopper in your basket. You then go, oh, I'd like my bonus buy bundle, please. Kapow, there it is. James is on the money. £60 or 79 20 for the rest of that uh, paper bundle. So it's extra papers, extra cardstock, extra vellum, but you're not paying £60 if you pop it in with your showstopper. You're not paying £79.20. You're paying £30 if you're platinum. You're paying £39.60 if you're in the US and you're platinum because that goes half price for you and it gets automatically calculated for you at checkout. You've also got the opportunity of getting an extra embellishment bundle and popping that in with your showstopper and that would also be a half price deal for you. Welcome everybody. If you've just joined us, thanks for being here. Apologies straight off the bat, you guys know now because you've been watching since the start. The launch has sold out. The easel draw kit you absolutely loved. You obliterated the stock, sold out just before the start of this show. So well done if you managed to get your hands on it. If you did get your hands on it, go back, watch Wake Up Call. Watch the first hour of this show. Watch Debbie's Live, which she did last week, which is over on her Facebook page. And also make sure you're tuning in next Sunday. I thought someone had left the gas on them for a minute. Next Sunday, the 28th, where there's a craft along with Craig and Corin. Not Debbie, but don't talk about that because Debbie really wanted the craft along. She's a little bit bitter, so just don't mention it, okay? Yeah. I did my own, technically, I did my own little craft along in, me, in, me, in my comfort of my front room. Well, my craft room. You um, did. So you can go back and watch that. And that was on Sunday, which yeah. was the 14th of January. And it was four hours long. So Nearly, not some, quite. Book some time off from work, you'll need it. <laughs> It, no, in all fairness, that it, it was brilliant. And, um, you know, Debbie sits... Same with Craig. Both very similar in that regard. Both very hot on the socials. Both very hot on giving you the extra content, which is great, isn't it, and what you guys love. But also very much, oh, I'll, sit, I'll, I'll just sit down and do an hour. Four hours later, they're still going. Uh, but it shows how much they love what they do, you see. But, yeah, if you're ever going to watch one, make sure you pop a little bit of time aside because you're going to be there a while. It, you're be there it was a the while. longest I've ever done it. Well, and that's only because lots of chatter and then, of course, my spillage. <laughs> the oh, spillage yeah, we'll not, we'll not we'll, talk about. You can go back and watch the pe that. The Pepsi tsunami. Yes. Was, yeah. Um, hi to Adriano, he says, good morning from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, work is getting in the way of my crafters TV. Work, eh? Work, schmirk. Um, Hannah says, so imagine if you made the drawers out of alternating pink and navy pearl card from that pad. Super pretty. I know, right? It's such a lovely, lovely kit. Uh, Gail Moore joins us from Maryland. And hi also uh, to Ord29 on YouTube, uh, whose birthday is today. We spoke to uh, um, Ords earlier, didn't we, Ords? Because I remember, let me see if I can remember now, you have the day off because the school is closed because of the weather and it's your birthday today, so you're happy about that because you can stay with us and watch all of the great shows. So happy birthday to you once again. By the way, if it is your birthday or if you want a little shout out, mention maybe you're celebrating an anniversary or whatever, get in touch and uh, we will say hello to you. No problem at all. Uh, Susie says, oh no, I missed the Cherry Pepsi tsunami. What's that in the Facebook Live? Yes. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> I can't believe I'm pointing people to this. I mean, if people want to go back and see you throw Pepsi all over your project, <laughs> whereabouts was that in the, in the nearly four about hours? About halfway through. Halfway through. About halfway through. There you go. Um, all over my mats and layers, all over some of the boxes. I Oops. managed to salvage. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Managed to salvage. I call them Debbie's fastest fingers. <laughs> in and out, just like that. Yeah. Literally. And then thinking, oh, God, and it would drip it off. About halfway through. Okay. Yeah. I mean, not that you would want to go and watch that, would you? Because why would you want to go and watch that? It's not very nice to see Debbie throwing <laughs> Pepsi all over her. Make note to go back and watch <laughs> Debbie's live halfway through. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> Susie just said, poor Debbie. I saw the finished project and you'd never know. <laughs> it smelled great. Right. Um, floral. Floral elegance. elegance. Yes, yes. So I'm going to play with the floral elegance. Now, actually, I'll get Ben to dish out that sample that Lily did with the easel draw. So for anybody that's got the easel draw, um, you could absolutely use that easel draw. And you could mix and match the collections. Beautiful sample there. Can we just flash I'm gonna, back I'm coming to over. Where... It's probably easy. Oh, is it, do you want to show it here? I think it's easier if you do it on the... I can do, yeah. I'm coming yeah, over. Yeah, absolutely. What do you want to do? Oh, there you go. Look, there. it's coming in. It's coming in. 
drop, drop, drop. Yep, drop, that's drop, it. drop, drop, drop. Leave drop. it there, leave it there. Perfect. Drop. And this is the thing. Those dies, the easel drawer, the papers, and then some of the elements on there as well. Um, so you absolutely can mix and match with lots of your collections into all of this. However, I'm going to do a little floral elegance right now. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to make an easel card. Funnily enough, I'm making an easel card. However, it's not going to be with a draw. Um, but I am going to do an easel card for you. Yeah. And I'm going to use possibly one of my favourite dies out of that collection, which is that luxurious lace. I absolutely adore adore this it really is the most beautiful lacy detailed die and it's big it's a big old die this it, it measures at just over it's, it's just it's just shy of six and a quarter um, and it goes to just under three and a half in terms of the the width of at uh, the depth of it sorry so up to about six and a, uh, a quarter by three and a half i would literally call this now this is a six by six piece of blank cardstock and i'm going to create an easel so first things first i'm going to bring in my um <laughs> bring in my plates and i'm going to line that up now i'm going to take it to the very edge and i've got some low tack tape um, because our edible works as well is that you always have a little niche or a notch at the top niche notch that's the one top niche, bottom notch, yeah and you can line those up so if you were doing a fold card this would look absolutely beautiful with this we all know that our jan's got this as the craft along next weekend, we, yeah, weekend. Uh, which will be a good oh, seriously it's going to be a good one because i know saturday that, that isn't it beautiful yeah mm. it's going to be I, I know it's going to be a beautiful project it really is um so i'm just like making sure i've got lots of tape down on there so it doesn't move and then it is a um de i said delicate die it's a very intricate die i'm yeah. actually just going to move that down a little bit further um and pop my plastic shim magnetic shim the other cutting plate onto the top and run that through the Gemini. Then we're going to create another part using that same car, uh, same die to create the bottom part of the easel. But I've done it into two parts this easel, which is it makes it a little bit easier. Um, and in terms of your your cardstock as well, um, you're not going to put it through. You know, it, 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 it it's just an easier way of doing it. The, the want of a better word. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to come in now and take my tape off. In fact. That one's come off let's just take that away there we go um and then i'm going to bring forward i'm just going to move my die cut out of the die and we'll come back to that in a second look at all that gorgeous detail. my goodness it's absolutely me. it is mm -hmm. absolutely stunning it really is talking about this uh, last night um i was saying about making a really deep um box lid and having this potentially it doesn't have to be as, as wide as that but potentially having that as the box lid all the way around because i just think that is a stunning die and on the top of your cards that could be a lovely top up part of your card of a tent card uh, using the edible factor um, absolutely adore it so yeah i'm not i'm not jealous at all that jan's got it <coughs> not at all jealous not, jan, not, jan jealous jan, of Colin. Yeah, i know i know i know um <laughs> We're not talking about it. It's just going to really upset me. <laughs> How does that work though with the um, craft lungs? You just get them divvied out. We just it just gets divvied up between. I mean, our lovely Lily, obviously, you know, yeah. she she gets her heads together with Sarah and everybody else. Um, they probably would think I would probably take about four hours instead of two and two and a half, which is why they won't let me do it. Well, it's your Facebook <laughs> lives that are letting you down there, aren't they? They're probably watching, going, <laughs> she's never going to do a craft lung in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick Debbie. Anyone but Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I just have visions of you all sort of sat in a room like drawing straws, you know, to see oh, you get Could you imagine? They'd be fisticuffs. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be handbag drawn because they literally would be fighting over which one we wanted to do. Because you all know how passionate we are about our products. We're all the same. Mm. We're all the same. Now, I've taken a piece of cardstock that measures at 11 inches by 6. And I've scored it at 6. Well, actually, I scored it the other way around. I scored it at two and a half and five so I have made it slightly and you probably understand why in a second this is a really big tie um, and I thought about it in terms of where I was going to put my flopper oh, stopper yeah. in terms of my dice so that's how I took my measurements and how mm. I got to that stage um, so that's why it's slightly shorter because I thought about when it were up when it's going to be held up upright it's going to show all of that lovely lace detail off um, so again I'm just going to come in, let me just make sure, I might actually switch to my larger plates for this just for a second, just to pop that down because I've got a large piece of cardstock. Um, and hold that on 
again the same place i'm going to take it right up to the flush of that card and line it up between there and then put my low tack tape down onto it so i'm going to go in both sides oh mm -hmm. now then just need a magnetic sheet let me grab the magnetic sheet there we go um and then we're going to come in with the plastic shim the other cutting plate the magnetic shim to um be the right combination for such an intricate die so mm. i've got to run that through the gemini okay and then you'll put the two pieces together and create the most beautiful easel card so so stunning um, if you're using a3 cardstock you could do it in one fail swoop oh yeah so you could have the top top part of that easel the bottom part of the easel and that would look equally as nice however i wanted this this particular way just because i like the style of this card um just move that out of the way again i'm just going to remove the tape and the tape on the other side and then you'll see again now it's created i'll just show you how i do mine i always take put my hand down and pull it out gently let's get that out the right way around there to get all those pieces out so does it always pull the card away from the die i never remember. i do i never tend to do it this way on an intricate diet i shall tell you why I could actually do it actually. Shall I do it? Because I've got one. I've got one. Oh no, but don't rip no, it. No, but don't matter because it's just, just oh. to prove a point. Do you know when you do that? Yeah. You've got a little bit of a danger uh, of yeah. ripping some of those gorgeous elegant bits. I've got away with it on that occasion. Especially when it's very delicate, right? Yes, mm. yes. So always do it the other way and take the paper or okay. cardstock out. Good tip. Good tip and a brilliant, um, a brilliant little uh, shout out from you there. Uh, right. So you'll see now. If I just pop those back in mm -hmm. and then I was to attach this front piece to there oh, yeah. you've got this beautiful really gorgeous very gorgeous top of the die uh, sorry top of the top of the easel card and it's it's a nice cheats way of doing that that's, yeah. that's what I like about it however um, we also want to um, and I've done this with because I tell you something I've, I've never seen that like it not gonna lie the mirror card oh of yeah the color mm -hmm. and i've cut it in two of those the blue is it? Oh, i love yeah. that blue so much it's so i think this is for me what makes this collection stand out it's the color palette mm -hmm. um so i've cut two of those and i've just literally taken some of that i've taken a little piece of cardstock run it through there and then just cut it with a like a, an half inch um bottom part because i'm going to add these to my um, pieces and I'm going to draw a little drop shadow so it's going to come underneath and create a little bit of a drop shadow gives it an added little extra feature to it so for that reasoning I'm going to pop some dotty tape pen onto the back of this like so all the way across there making sure I've not missed anything out and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of strong tape for the uh, panel just to sit onto as well. So it's going to hold that into place. Now, when I lift this off, I'm going to try and angle it so that our James can catch this. No, to no right or wrong way with the drop shadow. Mm. I'm dropping it down and taking it to the uh, left hand side yeah. to create that dramatic. You can do it the right hand side, um, left hand side, it's entirely to you. And then I'm just going to trim that little bit off at the top. Okay. And it just gives it that lovely very regal kind of looking it does get a, a yeah. very regal royal and very effect. yeah definitely yeah. so that's that one done mm -hmm. i'm going to do exactly the same with this and i'm going to come underneath so i'm going to pop it onto the underbelly of uh, underbelly 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 <laughs> under <laughs> i said something else which would have sounded even worse what's wrong with me today <laughs> i nearly said i'm not gonna don't say don't it, say it don't, don't say it. nearly say it when don't, you were nearly don't nearly say it ben yeah, don't you know what i was it. gonna say what was you gonna say under. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't What's say that. Huh? <laughs> you can't say that, can you? Well, I would have said that actually, so oh. I'm glad I didn't say it because then I would have really landed myself in it again. I mean, and, you, you um, can probably I've, say it, but it just sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? It does, but I've been really good. You I've have. Been really I've been the one today. You've been the one that's been a bit naughty today. Well, nearly naughty. I've been nearly that, naughty, not nearly quite. Naughty. Mm. Yeah. I was about uh, Craig the other day when he was he was really naughty on air. If you've seen what were you Instagram, trying to say? He was trying to say composition. I did wonder what you were trying to say. Yeah, and it came out very, very wrong. Did it? Very wrong. <laughs> yeah. It slips of the tongue. It slips. It's not easy doing live TV. I mean, you think it is, but we make it look easy. 
most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, shall I just stick those two panels together? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the tape onto this side now. So I'm going to come in with the tape. There we go. And then I'm going to stick it onto that bottom panel. Um, so take it right down to that edge and keep that nice and flush on both sides. There we go. So now you've created this lovely easel effect. Mm. However, we need... We need a couple of panels. Oh, Debbie, don't drop your sentiments. Oh, do you know? Do you want to get? I'm coming. I'm coming. <coughs> I'm coming. Come on over. I might have to move out of the way though because it's on my mat. Ah. Uh. And uh, if you go down that close, we could get ourselves into some right trouble. So we're not gonna. We're gonna just keep. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. It do smell nice today. I got so. <sighs> I had that really expensive aftershave, didn't Sounds I? Lovely. Last yes. year, yes. it was like really, really expensive, yes. and I used it all, and I put it on my birthday, not birthday, Christmas list. I think old mum might get it, you know, and she got me it. But rather than the bottle, she bought me like a little vial of it. Oh. It's about that big. Oh. So I'm using it very, very sparingly. <laughs> I only wear it for special occasions, and you know, if I'm working with people that I really like, I put it on. Thank you very much. You know how much I love her. Fragrance of a man. You smell <laughs> lovely as well. Oh, today. Thank you very much. Mm. Man's just a bit of Britney. Bit of Britney. Bit of Britney. Is it? Uh, midnight fantasy. Ooh. It's delicious. Mine is uh, Penhaligon Helfetti. Uh, uh, a whaty? Penhaligon Helfetti. <laughs> by by um, royal appointment as well. Oh, is he? King Charles wears it. Does he? He does. Well. Well, I don't actually know if it's him, but it's, it's got the royal. You know that the. So if I get to meet the king mm. and he smells like you, I could mention that, couldn't I? You could. Yeah. Whatever you do, though, don't mistake him for me and then go and, go and give him a big hug like you hug me when, you know, we meet, because that might be a bit... Just, cur just curtsy. Just curtsy, yeah. yeah. No, no hugs no involved. Hugs for, hugs for See, the that's the problem with me. If I ever met royalty, I think I'd want to hug him. Yeah. Because that's what I do. I'm a hugger. Yeah, I know you are. I love hugging. Gives the best hugs. Best hugs in the business. I do. I, lo I love to keep a big hug. Mm. And I hold on to you really tight. You do. And it's not just you I do that, so I not do that. everybody. I literally... Did you see me with Sarah last night? Mm. And I literally squeeze the life out of her. Do you know what? No word of life. I'm not a massive hugger normally. Oh, you're not? I'm not a massive hugger. No. Well, you're never offended by me hugging you. No, really? I, oh, oh, no. I'm gonna say. I'm, I don't I, have to say. No, 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 I, no. Oh. I enjoy our embraces. <laughs> our embraces. <laughs> I look forward to only because you give such good hugs, you see, so that's Thank why you very much. Yeah, Thank I allow you. it. Thank you. But not everyone. <laughs> only you. Hey, I'd get a bit jealous if everybody were hugging you. No. I mean, let's just get it straight. Mm. They're not having my TV, are we? No way. That's why, see? Yeah. Only two people I hug you and the real wifey. Nobody else. <laughs> he says. He says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really nice of your mum, though. That's a lovely present. Yeah. I was yeah, just hoping for a slightly smell. bigger bottle, but as I say, it's very expensive. Well, that's why you're only getting a little bottle then, because it's, if it's really that expensive. Yeah. Look how gorgeous this is looking. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that pearlized card. Now, what I did, instead of popping it onto the pearl um, cardstock, I thought I'd match it up with the, the, the mirror card. So my mat and layer for this one is that gorgeous mirror card. Um, of course, then we're going to need, as we've said before, we're going to need a... A flopper stopper. So yes. we're going to pop that on. Now I've made it a bit elongated because I'm going to add some of those beautiful dried flowers to that end. Um, so that, let me find my broker tool. There it is. I'm just going to take those off. I'm going to position it where I want it to go. So I think I'll take it, I think I'll take it to about there. There we go. So that it just sits perfectly um, on there. Now I'm going to add something here as well. Now there are those gorgeous flower dies on there, which are exquisite. Mm -hmm. um, and I've rolled a few up. Uh, these were the ones you might have seen me use. Well, I said use yesterday. These were the ones that I was going to use. Um, but I've got um, three of those rolled up. Mm. And also I did have. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What? Well, I did have some of the foliage as well. Oh. Now then, what have I done with that? So I need to look um, for it a second. I've got one. Hmm. Oh no! I've, oh, there we are. I've got a couple of the. Yeah, I've got a couple because I'm going to just take my. Um, now I did have my bone folder. <laughs> Everyone's talking about hugging now. Uh, Stephen says, "Don't you get a big hug from your daughter?" I, I, she's another one that I hug. Oh. My secret is out. I do love hugs, really. Dave, <laughs> Daisy's still very much a big hugger. She loves giving me big hugs, which oh, I love. Oh, bless And Lillian her. says, I've seen Ben hug Craig and lift him up and spin him around. Uh, maybe he's another one that I like to hug. <laughs> but there's nobody else. There's nobody else apart from those, those people there. Um, 
I must to say also hello to Curran who's joined us saying aloha everyone just popping in for a bit 6 15 a.m here in Hawaii and also must just read these Brenda Bibby Wood says I do so appreciate Craig and Debbie taking their own time to do Facebook lives oh thank you it is very much appreciated I know by all of you yeah it, it's it not, uh, it's not yeah it's not yeah. affiliate you know we don't have no it's not his work it's his own time when we do those so thank you that's very very nice of you to uh, to say um, um because I've lost my fairly large part darling yeah. i'm going to have to cut some out because it just won't work without them okay darling. Um, so i'm just going to run a couple through there and i think i'll just use i actually might have a little bit because i've got some white here but i've also got some of those gorgeous colors oh yeah and i thought should I, should I have a little bit of pink yeah. in there but, uh, oh that one oh the caramel as well caramel ones yeah mm, so that. i'm just going to run those quickly through okay. now i'm going to fetch my mini in because um it's daft isn't it while some of these will go through the mini let's get them through there yeah um, i'm just going to put the two that i have got to one side because uh get worse we age when it comes to losing things oh i, don't, I, I know, can see I know. sarah's being at the flakes i oh, know <laughs> um linda borchert says i love midnight fantasy and my husband loves it it is divine who was it, it by did you say Britney Spears. Oh, Britney Spears. So I've got two of them. I, I, there's only two. She's got a lot of the midnight fragrances, but there's only two that I like, which is the midnight, which is in the pink bottle. Mm. Uh, not midnight, sorry. Fantasy, which is the pink bottle. Mm. Um, and then the midnight fantasy, which is the blue bottle. Ah. So it's a dark blue one. It's a bit like this dark blue in here. Mm. Um, so they're the two that I love. And uh, I do love a little bit of Coco Mademoiselle, but it's a little bit expensive. Oh, that Laura likes that. Yeah, it's, it's divine, but it's... Incredible. She might get it once every other year if she's lucky. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's very, very expensive, it's isn't it? It's incredibly expensive. What's the other one that's expensive from them? Um, Chine is it Chanel? Number oh, five? Number, is, it, is it number five? Is it number five? Oh, yeah. Think about it, number five, that's the, yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. So, and I mean, my daughter, my youngest daughter, before she had the kids, um, she bought me a bottle, uh, and I think it was a birthday. I'm not saying Christmas, I think it was a birthday. Mm. Um, but um, I barely used it. I used it for very special occasions. Yeah. So it actually lasted me four years. <laughs> Did it actually? Honestly, yeah. Why am I not, am I, have I just put wrong thing in here? Let me just, let me just um, take this out, because I, let's just have a little peek. Terry's just oh, said, Debbie. oh, what have you done? I've, I've not, that's all right, it's me. Yeah. You should rookie try era. Um, Gucci Guilty for men, says Terry. Oh, um, gosh, so fine. Um, I'll, I'll look out for that. I tell you, always, always smells nice in here. He's our Jake. Oh, he wears Sauvage. That, um, Sauvage he wears. Yeah, it's delicious, the Sauvage. It's you, absolutely beautiful. You can smell him about a mile off. It's, he's, I mean, yeah. He, he's someone else I'd give a hug to because he, he smells so blooming nice. Uh, Bleu de Chanel is a gorgeous aftershave, says Hannah. Bleu de Chanel. Bleu. Bleu. Bleu, Bleu de Chanel. Turns out you were quite a few people, actually. Hang on a minute. Rewind. Yeah. Rewind. Uh, yeah, Jake, you got quite Craig. a few people. Yeah, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Did I, I give you a hug, Dean, did I? Oh. Oh. Uh, I just don't like to make out, you know, I am a bit of a softie, really. <laughs> Depends what mood I'm in, but Debbie always gets a hug. Oh, I throw myself at you, that's right. that's what I mean, you can't escape <laughs> you it. You don't have a choice. No. I just come in and throw myself <laughs> all over you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get all these into place. Now, I've got my hot glue gone. Ah, that's one of them there. There it is. Where's that hot glue gone? gone. There it is. I need to add a little loose stick in, though, because I'm a, a way to run out of the glue. Let me see if we've got... There must be some in here. Are we not... Oh, never. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't, I'm going to... Oh, I've seen one. You got one? one. Yep. Just thinking of a craft room that ain't got no glue sticks. Hello. Come on, people. Right, let me pop. I'm going to position my flowers into place first. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of glue and hold that in. Yeah. I'll add the... Um, I'm going to add the... Um... Oh, what's happened there? Tear at me. I've got a little bit of a white bottom going off there. <laughs> it's a good job. It's all covered up. <laughs> Easy. Always cover up your white bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Tip for life there. <laughs> I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Oh, dear. Ah, see, see, sometimes I just think I need to engage the brain. I'm loving the aftershave chat now as well. Linda uh, Fitzsimmons says, Coco Mademoiselle for me too. Oh, Come bless Linda. Come on, who it's wears good what? Taste. Let us know. Get it, get it in. Taste. I do find that um, here in the UK, I don't think you have, do you have Next over in the US? I'm not sure that you do, but they do a little, I got a selection pack of their sort of mini aftershaves and I always find that um, I get compliments whenever I'm wearing those and they're, they're oh. you know, sort of quite inexpensive aftershaves, so they're always very nice. Oh. Um, Shadai says, Davey, <laughs> Davey, 
Davy, oh, have I got a new name now? <laughs> no, I read it wrong. Davy, what Davy, what Davy? Debbie, have you ever tried Daisy by Mark Jacobs? I love all of his. Yeah. My son gives me every birthday. Yeah, that's another lovely one. Yeah, mm. Daisy's beautiful as well. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's another lovely fragrance. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm coming in now with some of these beautiful, and I mean. Oh, they're just divine, they really are. Um, and I'm gonna snip that down, but I'm gonna attach it to the back. I think I might have a little bit just to put this top corner. Yeah. And just attach that in. Might have to, tr yeah, I'm gonna trim a little bit more of that off. Let me just grab, we'll just have a little stump of that coming out there. There oh, we yeah. go. Um, That's brilliant. Ooh. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Those um, dried oh, flowers yeah, they are. are amazing, aren't they? I love, do you know, I absolutely. Me and Corinne were absolutely gushing about this collection when we did the um, the first look. Um, and the, the flowers, I mean, I'm loving that we've popped these. And this is the first time I've ever seen these in um, a collection, uh, any collection, let alone yeah. a Sarah Signage collection. Mm. Um, and they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to just pop um, a little bit here as well. And then just drop a little bit of glue just onto there. And I'm going to see if I've got some more I can add in as well. So let's grab. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. This is the gorgeous thing about it. I can't wait to see people's makes. Oh, no. I can't wait to see Jan's Craft Along project because I think it's going to, well, I think it'll blow everybody out of the water. I think it's going to be a belter um, of, a, of a craft along that one. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a, it'll be good. I bet they'd be clambering to do that one for. Um, I bet Susie has no problem getting a guest. Who's the guest? <laughs> do we know Susie? Or I, I suppose we must do a week out, mustn't we? Let us know. Su Susie will tell us. Don't worry, D Dean. D Dean, don't you worry. D Susie, Susie will be right in there in a minute. You watch. She will. She, she will. knows. Yeah, she's she, the oracle. She is the oracle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, there we go. And let me just pop that last one in, mm -hmm. cover that up. However, I can't just Ooh. have a birthday. No. Well, we need the happy part. Oh, it? if I've lost my happy part, I'm going to cry. What on earth have you... Happy, because you're happy. Apparently, we're still looking for guests for some of the shows. For, um... No way. Craft along. What, what shows are we looking for, Susie? I'll give, yeah, it, give, I'll give them a shout plug out if you want. Come know. on. Presentation lead here, apparently. We'll, uh, we'll plug for this particular shows. You can always see when we're looking for shows as well because we do post them on the socials quite a lot. If you've never <coughs> done a craft along, give it a go. Ask anyone who's done them. They're a lot of fun. Um, you know, you get to join in with us. You get to be in the VIP seats as well. So if you're a little bit worried thinking, oh, I won't be able to keep up, you will because you get to stop us if you don't understand something or if you need something repeated. So um, do, do come and have a go with us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Terry says, yes, um, Sauvage and Gucci Guilty are my two favourite scents for men, for women, the Yves Saint Laurent, I said that wrong, Yves Saint Laurent, black opium is awesome. Uh, get some for Laura, you'll love it. Well, I'm, I might just do that. Black opium, uh, is he? Yves Saint Laurent. I can't say that, Yves Saint Laurent. Um, and Brenda says, oh yes, Daisy is a nice scent. I recently got Perfect by Marc Jacobs and it's dreamy. Talking of Perfect. Well, I meant to put that on there. And then I've realised, because one of my flopper stopper covers up, so I'm going to move it in a second. However, what a beautiful easel card. And mm. like I said, some of these elements are going to work with your easel drawer for the guys and girls that actually got hold of that. Mm. So I'm just going to rectify my little mistake, but uh, that's the kind of thing that you can be doing with this ultra beautiful collection. It really is stunning. Mag Bloomin'nificent is uh, all we can say about that. What a collection this is. It's still available for you as well, the showstopper. A, a huge amount of the stock has gone. Oh, it's Sean Connery then. A huge amount of the stock has gone. <laughs> uh, but you can still pick up the showstopper. Um, 23 piece showstopper. It's all the dies that we went through. Do you want to see it again? Or are we going to be here for another half hour if I do? You've got all the dies, <laughs> you've got all the stamps, all the paper pads, all the embellishments in there. There's beautiful dried flowers, the glitter paste, the glitter. The gilding flakes, the wax. Oh my goodness me. It is the most comprehensive collection I think that we've ever done. And we've popped in there again, items that you've not seen before. Things like the um, beautiful foiled vellum, those dried flowers in there. And how many times have you seen a collection where we've gone one, two, three, 12 by 12 pads? You've got your paper pad, 
you've got your pearl pad, you've got your mirror and matte mirror card pad, you've got your 6x6 in there, you've got that 36 sheets of your decoupage, the floors, I mean, goodness me, unbelievable value. This is the price for it all. It's free shipping as well, don't forget, at £144 if you're platinum, $200 if you're in the US and you're platinum. And let's reiterate again, if you're thinking about picking this up and you're not yet within the club, join the club on the website, you do it for free and you are in, saving 20% off your first order. And if you're getting this, make sure you pop one of the bonus buy bundles in there as well. The paper bundle is the one that 99.9% .9 of people have gone for. You pop this in at 60 pounds or 79.20 and you do it with a showstopper within the same basket and then that price is slashed for you. It comes down to half. So basically 30 pounds or $39.60 if you're shopping in the US and you're a platinum member. Lots and lots and lots of goodies there. Uh, so let's give you opportunity to get checked out. When we come back, we will fire some more inspiration your way. Don't forget the launch, which we were supposed to be bringing you, has sold out. So we'll be coming back looking at that layout collection. And also, by the way, beautiful beginnings coming up um, later on this evening from 6, 1 o'clock Eastern. Hopefully you can join us for that. We will be doing some... <laughs> Producer Dean. Don't know what we're doing in that. Well, if you don't know... That's the thing, we've had so many I sellouts, know. it's like, what are we going to do for that? Um, I, we'll, we'll, we'll do some, I, I fancy doing a bit of crafting with Debbie, so we'll, we'll have a bit of fun with that. And also, let's get your questions answered again in uh, Essentials Corner. So any questions you want to fire, make sure you do that in that show, and we'll make it nice and interactive. We'll have a lot of fun, it's going to be amazing, whichever way. Um, listen, get to the checkouts, we'll come back in about five minutes, and uh, we'll see you then. Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry, yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire money roll, fire money roll, fire money roll. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made about customers but really 
They go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family welcome back everybody thank you for all the lovely comments thank you for checking out your carts as well and thank you for your understanding if you did come here for the um the launch you, you'll understand unfortunately it has gone but we're making the most of the fact we've still got another what two and two hours 20 minutes of um, live shows available for you today so um, if there's anything particularly that you uh, want to ask or anything you want to request and see particularly in beautiful beginnings let us know because we can always you know um Let's take it back to basics if you want to know more about you know, die cutting or stamping, whatever it might be. Just ask and we'll do it for you. Um, what a beauty. Thank you, as always, Debbie, says Lynn Morton. That's for the last project. Lois says, gorgeous card. Thank you, Debbie. And on the subject of craft alongs, bit of a bit of chit-chat going on. Uh, I urge people, says Lynn Blackledge, the hashtag go live granny, to have a go at a craft along. It's fun and there is a reward apart from the fun. Oh, yeah. Shh, don't, don't tell everyone about the reward. <laughs> What's that? You want me? Oh, you want me to tell them about the reward? The reward is, you get to hang out with me. What's that? Oh, that's not the reward. What? Oh, the, oh, oh, sorry. I, was, I thought that was the. It's not apparently. You get something else as well. Well, there you go. I thought it was reward enough just to hang out with me for the two hours, but apparently you get a little something given to you a as little. well. A little. Shh. Put it this way. We make it worth. It's a little thank you mm. for allowing us into your houses and your homes for those two hours and for you um, joining us for those two hours and mm. uh, all your hard work and your interaction as well because yeah. it's lovely. Yeah. And I love her. I love, I, we had Lynn last weekend. Friday? Bro. Friday. She joined mm. me on Friday with the. Um, <laughs> With my weekly star that I got the other night. With uh, my weekly star, yeah. It's been a while, it's been a while. So it's nice to have one. Uh, but yeah, and uh, Lynn will tell you, it's not frightening at all. No. It's not frightening. It's not frightening. It's, it's frightening. fun. Well, we, what you see is what you get. And also you get to chant, it chant? You get to chat to the guys in the gallery. I mean, that can be a little bit, you know, no, it's not, I'm only joking. They're all lovely, whoever you get. Whether you get Dean and uh, James, whether you get Jamie and Nicola, whether you, get, whether you strike gold and get producer Johnny, or, you know, the, the head honcho man. I mean, that head honcho. The head honcho man. <laughs> doesn't, that doesn't happen so much now, does it? You know, because he's in the office, beavering away. But uh, whoever's in there, you're going to have a great time. And the great thing is, is that if you do get a little bit stuck or if you get a little bit behind with it, no problem. You can stick your hand up, give us a wave, because we can always see you. I've got about, I've got eight, 10 screens in front of me here, so we can always see, and if I see you wave, I go, oh, or if the guys see you, they go, oh, and then we stop, and then we answer your question. It's fun, give it a go. And of course, you get that little something as well. Ask everyone else in the comments who's done it, and they'll tell you how great it is. Um, right, layout collection. We launched this on Monday with Craigle Bagel and it was a huge success. Once again, I think off the back of the fact that Craig did his Facebook Live, so you guys got to kind of get a bit of a heads up on this and see how amazing it was before the official launch. It flew. There is still, I think, a showstopper available for this. However, the majority of people have gone for the layout collection on its own. Um, and this is all about, uh, 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 the way I'm describing it, I think, is that this is the sort of card-making alternative to the 
colouring journey that was the Academy of Colour. You know, everyone talks about the Academy of Colour and they say, oh, I couldn't colour, I didn't like colouring, I had no confidence in my colouring, what did I do? Got the Academy of Colour, did the Academy of Colour course, and then coming out the other side going, my colouring now has really improved, I'm really confident at colouring, I love to do alcohol colouring, I love to do water colouring. That kind of feedback, I think, is what we're going to be seeing from this layout collection once you get this home. If you are someone, perhaps, who struggles to make cards, you struggle with the layout, you struggle where to put all of the bits and pieces, the sentiments, the die cuts, your mats and layers, you will struggle no more. Because the genius about this is, is yes, whilst you get, and I'll show you here in just a second, yes, whilst you get 48 dies, you get 20 stamps, you get embossing bodies, you get the papers and everything else, you get the recipe cards. And that's the genius about this. You get the recipe cards, which you're going to put into your binder, which Debbie will show you and then you've got that forever. You can come back to it um, whenever you need to make a project. So for people who, who, who want to be able to batch make, here we go, here we go. If there's a particular layout that you love, you can just make it time after time after time after time. The really important thing on the recipe cards is that sketch there so you can see how to lay it out, turn it over. You've got all of your pictures and words, really easy to follow. And like Craig was showing in the launch show, you've got the sketch, so if you want to size it up, really easy to do if you want to size it down it's really easy to do if you just want to add your own kind of um, style to it you can do that as well but don't forget within the actual uh, layout collection itself you get all the papers you get all of the cardstock so you can follow each picture to the letter but then when you get more confident you can start playing with the layout you can start adding in your own papers it's such a brilliant system honestly let me just show you the hardware that you're going to get obviously you will get within this set as well 24 sheets of your papers all right so you get loads of different designs of your beautiful single-sided papers in there and you get the matching um, linen cardstock in there as well but as far as your hardware is concerned this is it so you get all these beautiful stamps they're gorgeous as well really really nicely sized fantastic to color in and again all of these stamps are the ones that you'll see used in the pictures on the recipe cards so when you get this home if you are quite new if you're not very confident you can just follow it to the letter if then later down the line you think well i've got some nice stamps which i want to use for a different project or for a different theme you can just sub those in it's really really simple to do um, also as far as your stamps are concerned you're getting sentiments nice that we give you this set here which is called your uh, just called what is it called sentiment stamps um, you've got all these different sentiments so sending you uh, thanks you've got just a note you've got hello you've got treat yourself you've got you are lovely happy birthday loads and loads of great sentiments in there then you've got your border dies these are fantastic again three different dies to create three different effects here different ripples uh, beautiful this middle one I absolutely love you've got that um, torn edge design on there too gives you a lot of possibilities talking about possibilities you've then got all of your beautiful nesting dies this is the circular so you've got them small with um, a scalloped edge then you've got them slightly larger with a scalloped edge as well and again you'll be using all of these through all of the projects that you've got within the recipe guide then you've got your nesting ovals we give you the squares once again with the squares you get your large size with that beautiful decorative edge you've got your small dies with that beautiful decorative edge and then there's even more because on top of that you've got a wonderful selection of your nesting tag dies few people i think when we were doing the show were just overwhelmed by the amount of dies that you get so where do you get those tag dies from they're in the collection on top of that you get your uh, beautiful batter dies again showing you where to place these to get maximum effect on your projects then you've got your nesting frame dies you get these again in different um, um, shapes so different shapes different kind of uh, looks to them you've got the decorative nesting dies there which are absolutely beautiful and I love these two this one is your uh, decorative embellishment dies so you've got your little star there you've got your triangle your heart you've got your flowers in there too then we come on to your embossing folders. There's three embossing folders in this set. This one is your 3D embossing folder. That beautiful uh, vase there is um, one that you're going to be getting six by four is the size on that. You've then also got two 2D embossing folders. Beautiful, this one here, which is your fabulous florals. And then you've got the butterflies in there too. Once again, what you'll find within the recipe guides is that you'll use these in full as backgrounds, but then it might well be that you're cutting smaller bits of cardstock and you're just placing those to get a lovely emboss on those to use within the actual um, project that you're making. 100 gems included, all beautiful colors, which not surprisingly match up beautifully with the satin ribbon that you're going to get as well so you're getting three different widths of that satin ribbon three colors uh, a meter on each so it's nine meters in total and as i mentioned you're getting all of your cardstock and all of your paper included in there too 30 different projects we're going to have a look through the recipe cards with debbie in just a second and again just putting this out there 
This is for everybody, all right? If you, if you are someone perhaps who is more experienced at crafting, you know, if you're someone like Debbie and you're, you're sort of at that expert level, and you know, like Craig was talking about this, and I thought it was really refreshing actually, because uh, th there are days, there will be days when even as an expert or someone who's been crafting for years, where well, you just want something easy. You want to scratch that itch. You don't want to have to go through the whole process of, you know, creating in your mind and thinking how you're going to do it. How nice to be able to just sit down open up your folder and just have it all done for you and go, I'm gonna create that one today. So if you're that end of the scale, that's what I would be thinking about. And I would also be thinking about the value that you get within this. And if you're at the other end of the scale, I mean, it explains itself really. And again, just to prove a point, you know me, I like to craft now and again, I craft on special occasions. I always make Laura a card for whatever the occasion might be. I love to kind of uh, dabble me and Daisy craft as well. Um, so I had to play with this myself. And if you don't believe me, you can go back. I did a little sped up video in between shows on Monday. Cause I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have a go. And it was super easy and it was so much fun. And I encourage you to get this, if, particularly if you are brand new and you're a little bit worried about making your cards, I believe this is the solution. What say you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it is for anybody, whether you're a beginner, whether you've been crafting for a little while, whether you've been crafting for years, um, it's got everything you need um, to comp... Um, be careful how I say it. Composition yes. is important. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the layout of your card is important. As Craig's told you, you can shrink it, you can enlarge it, you can follow the recipe cards to the letter because mm. everything is in there for you. Um, I love this. Now, I, I've just been, as you might have heard in the background, I've been putting <laughs> everything in. Trace is probably going to kill me. Um, <clears throat> never heard but, a thing, Debbie. No, never heard a thing. I didn't do this. Um, put all the stamps in, so into your into your, uh, bu uh, into your booklet, into your binder. Yeah. You're going to put your stamps into there, so you know and you can reach to these any time. Mine is already sitting on my shelf, so I've popped already, and I've I've because obviously this is a smaller set, this is the larger set. I've put them all together, so you can see how lovely they nest in within each other. But you've got your magnetic sheets to put all of your dies onto as well. But the beautiful thing about this is this it's those recipes mm -hmm. and it's those layouts uh, that for me makes such a huge difference because it's nice to be able to to try and work out but you know if you sometimes like you said you've had a, a little bit of a mojo you lose yeah, it yeah it's giving you like a little sketch that you can copy mm. and emulate to exact if this is what you want to do to create this yeah you've got all of that laid out for you in the form of a picture in the form of the step-by-steps yeah. instructions down to the measurements down to the layout how you're gonna compose and put this together it's absolutely incredible for that reason and that goes on from one all the way up to 30 and i'll yeah. just show you a few of these again everything i mean they always look different when you see them on a picture but you see them physically you can see just how beautiful that's a dl shaped kind of a card there um i love this but to know how to put this together and this is the lovely thing and as i did my little take on it yesterday you can use other papers in your collections once once those consumers have gone in your box you've got then you've, there's lots of things that you can do there's lots of papers that you can choose um lots and lots of different things you could even choose a different embossing folder if you've got embossing folder yeah. uh, collection going off there as well but all of this i mean this one i love i absolutely adore that layout the layout these are the ones that you can copy you can copy every single one of these if you want to look at the size of that that is a big old belt on eight yeah. by eight card stock um but you can simply just copy those designs but then of course you've got the chosen layout that you could then take into the all like your floral elegance like your um alphabet dies there's things that you can use to create and recreate because that's exactly what i did that we never got to because we sold out of the um alphabet dies <laughs> but i did a recipe on number 23 Oh, no, I did that one, didn't I, yesterday? It was the 23 one I did. Uh, yeah. Later on one, I think. There. I did, um, using the layout collection, but I used the alphabets inside there. I had the layout, I had the design, and I knew what I wanted to do, but I wanted to put um, a name in there. It actually was a Ben. Aww. With a, a sw um, do, with a, do you know the swash sentiments? Yeah. Love you lots. Aww. I never got to it. I'm Ooh. gutted. Uh, because it sold out the alphabet die. But this is the thing about this lovely collection. You can simply follow and copy every single one if you want. You've got the not you've got everything at your fingertips because you're simply just gonna pull this off shelf, you're gonna take that layout, you're gonna do that sketch, and you're gonna use the elements that you've got in your box or use other elements in your crafty stash and for me 
ingenious idea how this was come about and i think it's come about from lots of the people just you know um, putting ideas forward mm. and taking those ideas and turning them into a, like a physical thing for you and as a crafter whether you're a beginner crafter whether you've been crafting for a little while or you've been crafting for years like myself like craig like jan like everyone else on the team um you know that anybody could pick this up and craft with yeah. and get the same enjoyment out of it because it is an absolutely stellar collection. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to take this down to Wobby Maker on Friday. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. It, it's been so well received as well. And if you haven't yet picked yours up and if you're thinking, tell us, shan't I? Um, I think we're going to have a play. Are we having a play with that later on on Beautiful Beginnings, potentially? I might get you crafting with yeah, me. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really up for that. I might get you crafting with me, yeah. yeah. I'm up for that. Might, might get you doing a bit of crafting. I'm up for that. Whatever yeah. you need, I'll be there. There's a song there, isn't there? Um, I'm well up for that. i uh, tell you what, let's get the vote going for the demo of the show. Then I'll read a few comments and then talk about later on. We've got some, a couple of deals, or certainly one deal, just to show you which you might want to get your hands on for later. So... Two to choose from, isn't there? Two to choose from, yes. So, number one, um, from, as we know, the sold out, uh, but showed you how to put together to make that double uh, draw um, easel card. So, that's number one. And then number two is that beautiful floral mm. elegance easel card. Um, so, I think it's going to be a tough one, this. I don't think it's going to be straightforward. They're very beautiful in their own yes, right. Yes, exactly. Aren't they? So, you've got one. Or two, you decide. You decide. Um, gorgeous cards, says Lois. Thank you, Debbie. On the subject of craft belongs, Christine Mahoney says, I love hanging out with Ben. Aww. And everyone else. We're cool. We're the cool cats. You know, come and hang out with these guys. Uh, if you haven't done a craft along, says Linny Jones, um, you should give it a go. And they are really fun to be involved with as well. I'm loving all these because I'm looking and thinking, yes, done a craft along with uh, Christine. Yes, done a craft along with uh, lovely Linny as well. Melanie D says, I've been using this collection all week and I, I love it. And all things wonderful says, receive my layout collection showstopper today. It's absolutely amazing. I'm super pumped and super excited to see what you guys are going to be doing with your layout collections and the cards that you're going to create. And do you know what? I, I'm excited on kind of two fronts because I'm excited for those beginners who have picked up who are going to be potentially like making some of their first cards and then going to be showing us how they've followed the recipe card but then I'm also really excited to see some of you know our more experienced crafters who go okay well this is the recipe card I like the look of this but I'm going to change it slightly I'm going to bring in some different papers different card stuff so I'm super excited as always if you do ever make any cards Feel free to send them into the studio, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. We can't always show them, but um, it's nice that when you do send them in so that when we do decide to do a gallery, we can. But what you must always do is if you want to share them, you don't have to share them if you don't want to, but if you do want to, tag us on Facebook, tag us on Insta as well. So all, all of us, we're just at Ben Mosby CC, at Debbie Robinson, Debbie with a Y, Robinson CC, at Craig Laird CC. So it's really, really easy to show us. So beautiful beginnings coming up later on. On that show, oh my goodness me, this is going to be one of those deals, right? If you don't pick this up at this price, you ain't never going to buy it. The saying, guys, five piece selection, 10 dies in total, because within each you get the saying die, and then you've got your outer mat die. So what are you thinking? 10 dice, it's normally 40 pounds, normally $50 for the full set of five. So if it was half price, it'd be good, right? Yeah, it's not gonna be half price. If it was say under, under 20 pounds, incredible. What about if we said under 10 pounds, under $10 if you're platinum? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, oh. oh. we should you have, out saved, there, we should have I? saved this for later. We what? might not have them by the time it comes to... We might not have these by the time it comes to beautiful beginnings. And then what are we going to do? Because we'll have nothing. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Seven pounds 60. Oh Nine dollars 60. Can I just say... I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Because you need to know. Or shall I tell you? <laughs> We're still an hour and eight minutes away from the start of that show. We have 48 of these and that oh. is it what's the gone oh. they're gone so i know debbie's got some finished samples over there i'll quickly 
as I say, if, you've, if you're not buying these today, either A, you've already got them, or B, they just don't float your boat because the, the price is incredible. Friends like you are far too few. So you get that beautiful uh, detail uh, sentiment die and then the die to be able to create your little beautiful mat to make that sentiment pop <laughs> off of. I haven't got a, a, an official board for this one here, but you can see it on a beautiful card. I really like that. It sort of uh, reminds me of those um, the dress shirts that you wear. Um, oh, yeah. You know, when you put on a DJ, the little ruffles, the little bow tie, let your... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it says, let your faith be bigger than your fears. Do you want to know what I read that as? I dread to think. Let your bath be bigger than your fears. <laughs> 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 Words That's for life hilarious. there. That's hilarious. Oh, you've yeah. gone scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> Let your bath be bigger than your feet. I've had my contact lenses changed recently as well. It's, there's no hope, is there? There's no hope. Uh, this word says there... <laughs> <laughs> but do let your bath be bigger than your fears, though, all right? <laughs> there are friends, there are family, then there are friends that become family. That's us here at Crafters TV, That is us up here, yeah, definitely. Where there is faith and hope, miracles happen. And lastly, every day might not be good, but there is something good in every day. And before we do the result of the vote, let's have a look at some of these in situ on projects with Debbie. Really lovely set, this Debbie, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I mean, I used one uh, on my first <laughs> demo this morning um, on the easel draw. You absolutely, it's, it's, it's everything you need to say on the tin. Um, and they're really lovely size. They're going to be the focal part. This is not something you're just going to like need, use as a decoration or like an embellishment. This is a focal part of your card or your projects, home decor projects, yeah. scrapbooking projects, card making, gift boxes, and the rest. Um, and they're very, 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 um, ins I think, inspirational, lovely inspirational quotes there as well. Yeah. Heartfelt. Heartfelt is the heartfelt. word that I'm going to use. Um, and so many different ways you can use them. Um, and so many different configurations in terms of your card making, different styles that you could be using as well. Or simply just have them as what they are. A nice sentiment. A just say... A just just say, I just said, just saying a saying de sentiment mm. that just speaks volumes in, in the words that are there. I love these. I always have. I can't believe we're down to the last. And at that price, that is insane. Seven pounds sixty for, and it is ten dies at the end of the day. Five, yeah. If you do your five into that seven pounds sixty though, or the nine dollars sixty. We're talking pennies and pence here. We're not talking a lot of money. Um, and I think that is an incredible deal. And if we've still got some of those left at six o'clock... Probably not going to have, are we? It'll be a miracle. I don't know what we're going to do on that next show, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Don't wait, though. You've seen how things have been going all day. Do not wait. Make sure you get hold of yours right now. I think, you know, for us to sell out, I'm just up for more questions on the sofa. More snuggles on the sofa, yeah? But it is beautiful beginnings later on. So what we could, on, on, in all fairness, what we could do if we do end up in that situation, as it is beautiful beginnings, we could just, you know, if you, if we go right back to basics. Yeah, how do you, this we, is it. We this could talk about, you know, um, plate combinations. We could mm. talk about different ways that you, that you stamp. We could talk about pet, whatever you want to do. If we get to that situation, we go, mm, we haven't really got anything. That's what we can do. What, what do you want to ask us? What do you want to ask Debbie? And I know there's going to be questions. The last few weeks, we've had tons of questions. Sheena's been in, Leanne's been in. Who else was here the other day? Was it, was, was it Jan? Jan was in last Wednesday, wasn't she? Get your questions in, ask and anything, anything crafty, anything you've ever wanted to ask Debbie, you know, within reason. But, feel <laughs> no, but honestly, feel free to ask. We've chatted about everything. We've chatted about everything over the course of the last few weeks, and that's what it's all about. So fire the questions in. Um, Susie, are you on the show later on? I think you probably are. And Susie, if she's brilliant, lists them all, pops them all through. Uh, towards the end of the show and what always happens you see is we get about sort of 10 questions through in the show and then as soon as we sit down and start asking the questions tons more come in so ask a question we'd love to hear from you demo of the show thank you susie it's been close i know did it say be. It. i did say to you they're both beautiful in their own right beautiful in their own right one oh just mm. picked at the post just then. Picked, just picked yeah. at the post. There you go. I mean, thank you because it has been all about the ease of draw today. I'm so pleased that you've been loving it and I'm so pleased that you've got hold of yours. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous set. And thank you very much. It truly is. And I cannot wait for the vote later on for the demo of 
the day because there'll be the two amazing um, creations of Debbie's up against each other with whatever we make in beautiful beginnings. Uh, don't forget, we are back in just over an hour. In the meantime, anything that you've got in your baskets, do make sure you get it checked out, particularly these stained dies because they are going to disappear. Also worth bearing in mind, if you do love a bargain, um, you know, maybe you are at the other end of the budget and you, know, you haven't got um, huge amounts to spend uh, today. I, I know the feeling, January's a long month, isn't it? Um, but check out the January sale, because there are some mega deals right there. 75% off is what you could be getting. And well, there are deals galore there. We started off with 500, we're less than that now, but there's still some fantastic deals to be snapped up. So you can certainly, whatever your budget is today, pick up something to um, get in the post and look forward to crafting with. Massive thank you to Debbie. Thank you to the team. It's been a fantastic show, hasn't it? Wow, and it has been a busy day. That was launch day. We'll be back in an hour's time. Uh, I'll see you with Debbie for beautiful beginnings in just a bit. Bye.